Hey guys, it is Science Experiment Friday. Um, this is my KZ400, and I just got a an old capacitor for it because I've always been curious about whether I can run this bike batteryless, or at least have a capacitor that can act as a backup in case the battery dies. Um, I got this capacitor. It's a it's like a stock KTM. And I don't know how many microfarads it has, but it's rated at 25 volts. And I have disconnected the battery from my bike and I have hooked up the capacitor um, to the ground and then the positive is going back into the main harness. And I'm gonna see how this works. I've also been curious. I think old timers say they've done it. New timers feel like it's like unknown tech, I think. Um, and I wanted to find out for myself. So uh, let's give it a try. Well, there you go. Uh, after a whole bunch of kicks, I was able to fire it up. Um, all the lights seemed to work. I had read that there might be some flicker from the headlights and the brake lights. I didn't see that. The turn signals also worked. Um, it did eventually die when I stopped revving it. So I don't know if one of the conditions here is that you just have to keep, keep revving it. So I'm not really sure what would happen at a stoplight. Um, I've read some guys, you know, keep like a small battery hooked up to kind of store charge, um, I guess in those cases. But I would say this was a somewhat successful um, experiment. I think that at the very least I can hook up this capacitor to the battery and I presumably um, the bike would be able to run and hold an idle if there was, you know, even like a dead battery charged, uh, uh, connected. I guess it's, I'll just have to see. So anyway, um, I guess that's it. There's a, I'm obviously I'm not going to be using this cause I have a battery, but it's a kind of a fun thing to mess around with. And there you go.